Hello everyone, my name is Marc Antoine. I'm an integration coach here at Robotic. So today for this presentation, we wanted to show you the robotic palletizing solution. So first thing, what do we have when we receive the crate? So we're gonna have the seventh axis controller, uh, seventh axis here with its, its controller. Then we're gonna have the base. So it's already pre-integrated, uh, so it's really easy to assemble. Uh, after that, what we're gonna need to add is the robot arm with its controller. Uh, and then we're going to have the software. So uh, the main thing of this demo is really to show you uh, the software and how to program it. So first thing is, is going to we will need to add the palletizing node. Uh, and then we're going to have these four menus. So we're going to run through that together. The first one is the box. So if we exit those, so uh, as uh, I may have mentioned, so I already started the demo. Everything is already ready programmed, like the box dimension palette and everything, just to have a quicker demo. So the first menu is the bug dimensions. So I entered each, uh, uh, each side of the box. One thing maybe to consider here, so we have the side here that we have here. It's just to align the, the connector of the robot wrist with the side here, just to have a reference with the robot and the operator. Uh, then we have the payload. The other thing that we need to do in, in this menu is the set grip position. So that's the only waypoint that we're going to need to set into the solution. So uh, if I go in there, so the important thing is to really center the tool uh, on the top of the box. So one way to do that is really to take a measuring tape, go into the box, measure it each side, and then you can really center uh, the tooling. From there, this menu is completed. The second one is the palette in here. So again, uh, the only thing that you need to input is the palette dimension. Everything is done for this one, so I've entered the dimension. And then we have the palette selection. So that's where you can choose either if you want the left palette, right palette, or both of them. So for this demo, it's going to be only the right one. Then we have the pattern. That's really where the, the magic happens. So we have the two different patterns. So we can add the box. Everything is done via the teach pendant. We have the arrows in here and the rotate button. So you can click on, on the arrows, and it's going to move down by 5 millimeters. If I want to go faster, I can put 15, for example, and just put the box in there. So if I want to be mo uh, more precise, I'm going to put a lower number. If I want to go faster, I'm going to put a higher number. Uh, so I can add some boxes in here. So as you can see, when it's blue, that means it's a good position. If I go red, that means there's something wrong. There will be a collision. So we can put in here. So I'm going to put back in five and just refine the position. Add some boxes. Go back to 15. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. Again, I'm going to refine position in here. First pattern is completed. Let's do pattern B now. So again, same, same concept. So I'm going to add some boxes with the 15 here just to go faster. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the same pattern just to find, I'm going to show it to you in a second, just to find this corner here. So when we build up the pallet, everything will be robust and at the same position. So I found this one. Now I can move this one into this corner and move this one back so we know everything will be perfectly precise when we're going to build the pallet. So now I can add some boxes. I'm going to put 15 again just to go faster. The last one. And again, I'm going to refine using only five millimeters. Here we go. Pattern B is completed. Uh, last thing we need to do in the pattern configuration menu, so it's the number of layer. So for this one, let's say eight. And here we have the current layer sequence, so we can adjust it. And in most cases, it's going to be altering from uh, one pattern to the other. So we can set this in here. So we can see A, B, A, B, A, B. So that's good. Last menu is the settings. So in this menu, we have the tool speed and tool acceleration with or without the box. So that's where we can configure that. 
We have the box presents input, so that's the, the sensor that is going to be provided into the solution. So the sensor that you need to fix on the conveyor for the box pre presents. When a bo box is there, that means it's ready to be picked. We have the box and pallet, so the, the unit, so metric or imperial, so uh, from, uh, depending if you need, you can choose that. And from there, pretty much everything is ready. I can press play and the palletizing will happen. So all the trajectory, all the collision avoidance, everything is uh, already pre-programmed in the software and you don't have to do anything else. So it's really more inputting and configuration of the so software than programming. So let's press play. Uh, one other thing on the software, so you can choose where you want to start the pallet. So at the moment, the pallet is empty. In most cases, we're going to start it like this. But if, for example, you would have two cases on the pallet already, you can select it and you're going to start it uh, at the, the box tree, box number three. So we start with an empty one. So we have a pop-up now. So we've done it on purpose just to show you. So the right pallet now is missing just because it's not, tri it's not triggering the sensor. So we're going to place the pallet perfectly in the corner. Here we go. So we're going to press play again. It's going to ask you, so we start at box number one.